हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ क्लास फिफ्थ इंग्लिश सेकंड टुडे फर्स्ट वी विल हैव द लुक ऑफ नो द आंसर्स ऑफ योर टेस्ट पेपर देन वी विल स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टुडे एज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ पोएम सो बिफोर दैट वी विल कंटिन्यू द प्रीवियस वन दैट इज योर answers i hope you all have completed your test paper with full of honesty so let's check what have you done and if there are mistakes so you need to improve in that okay you have to learn the chapter again you have to revise the chapter again okay here these are the answers of your test paper as you can see first the meanings of the given words and then true false and then the answers of those questions so kindly match your answers and check your mistakes okay now let's start our next topic that is your poem the name of the poem is my books actually this is written by dr cs who is a very well known writer of children's book and what he said actually the more that you read the more things you will know the more that you learn the more places you will go very good very good lines that yes the more you read the more things you will know the more that you learn the more places you will go understood so here the poet is going to describe his own experience whatever he experienced after reading the books so let's read it out first the first line is i love my books they are the homes of queens and fairies knights and gnomes so the poet is saying that the poet loves his books a lot they are the homes actually they are not only books of queens fairies knights and gnomes queens i know you all are aware fairies also but here knights means soldiers you know who rode horses and fought battles a long time ago now we don't have knights those who used to wear you know arm, armor and all so here you can see in the picture also so such type of persons okay and gnomes gnomes means very tiny men who are believed to be the guardians of earth's treasures jinko aap bone bhi bol sakte hain okay those who used to live underground so here the poet you no know, studies about knights gnomes fairies or queens because he believes that the books whatever books the poet is reading are the homes of these people then each time i read i make a call jab bhi main padhta hu to mujhe kya yaad aata hai on some quaint persons large or small quaint means strange no whom the poet does not know so here quaint person large or small sometimes the persons are very large sometimes they are very small who welcomes me with hearty hand means who welcomes the poet with very friendly manner okay and leads me through his wonderland and they take the poet with them through their wonderland okay the land where they live then each book is like a city street each book whatever the poet is reading is a city street along whose winding way i meet for example have you ever seen a street yes of course you have seen so no all the streets are having bends turns no curves so here the poet is talking that a street along whose winding way i meet new friends and old who laugh and sing sometimes you know he meets with people new friends old friends you know who laugh and sing and take me off adventuring and they take the poet with them where to do new things to do exciting things and where often in new places so here 
my dear students this is the poem about book that how you know if we start reading books regularly how do we love or how we start loving to you know to read books and how we learn new new things how we visit places by sitting you know at a particular place it is quite you know adventurous so here we have completed the poem and what you have to do there are word meanings as you can see in the picture the first one is knights you can write only soldiers then the second one is gnomes gnomes you can write tiny men then the third one is quaint means strange then hearty warm hearted you can write and then winding having a lot of bends and bends and turns then adventures adventuring you can write doing new and exciting things okay so these are your word meanings now come to the next page here one exercise is there on the next page my dear student question number 2 in this you have to fill some of the words see the a part which you have to do from the poem the opposite of the word ordinary so the meaning or the opposite of the word ordinary is quaint means strange right we studied then the second one is a synonym of the word twisting so the synonym is of the word twisting is same meaning synonym means same meaning winding then the third one is two pairs of rhyming words we have studied so many pairs so any two we can write so here i have written for you homes and gnomes then a second one is call small okay so this you have to fill in your book now come to the question answers part the first question is actually name two things that books are compared to in the poem so two things that books are compared to in the poem are homes and city street okay this is your answer now come to the next question question number 3 two i have already given you that you have to do in the book third one is a kind of you know text or you can say uh, passage from the uh, this one lines from the poem and you have to find answers from these lines read these lines and answer the questions that follow so the lines are i love my books they are the homes of queens and fairies knights and gnomes so the first question is how do the narrator feel about books so the narrator seems to love books this is the answer b question is list the characters that the poet has re read about so some of the characters that the poet has read about are queens here you can see fairies knights and gnomes so these are the characters okay now come to the c question that is what kind of books do you think the poet is describing in these lines name one such book that you have read okay what kind of books so here my dear students come to the answer this is the answer the poet seems to be describing fantasy books okay about adventures in the poem one question means one answer and the no next question in the same question is name one such book that you have read so i hope you know i suppose that you all have you know uh, read about harry potter so here it is the answer one such book that i have read is harry potter so my dear student till here you have to complete your work one book exercise and these four questions third a b c part and the first one where you have to write the comparison of books okay the remaining part of this poem we will continue in the next video till then you prepare this chapter well okay revise this one and one more thing you have to do you have to write this poem in your notebook fair notebook okay all 12 lines you have to write in your fair notebook along with word meanings and these question answers okay we will surely continue the next remaining part of in the next video and you no know, we will discuss some other things related to your you no know, next text paper revision test paper sorry okay till then take care